Hey, Banker, this is Mark Nguyen, host of the Banker Success Podcast and America's leading bank marketers. And on this video, you will learn about the current challenge of using Facebook ads uh, for your banks and all your financial institutions. And what are some of the available channels that you can target uh, besides Facebook? And so recently, um, I was talking to a, um, uh, to, uh, to a director of marketing uh, from banks. And as, as you can see, that um, uh, that uh, so this is the um, uh, the, uh, the the challenge that we are having is that so when I talk to the um, uh, senior VP of marketing and, and PR, and his comment was F Facebook, right? F Facebook. It's really strong, but uh, just to show that his frustration about the uh, current change. Facebook is implementing and how it severely affects uh, banks' ability uh, to create online campaigns and, and to get the results. And I want, so that's why today I want to share with you some of the challenges. Now, the first challenge is that if you are running a campaign to uh, promote uh, maybe like a like a new like a new account, or you want to promote a uh, uh, in, in this case that uh, the uh, they want to more commercial lending. Uh, campaigns, right? So all of that campaigns, they, they Facebook categorize them as a credit, you know. Um, they, uh, they, I'm sorry, they, they categorize as special ads categories, right? So meaning the ads that related to credit, employment, housing, and those kind of ads they will put under a special category called special ads. And what does special ad mean? Well, special ad means that ads that promote or directly link to a credit opportunities, including but not limited to credit card offers, auto loans, personal or business loan services, mortgage loans, long-term financing, right? So those are the things that they that Facebook will put them as special categories. And so what does it mean to you? It means that when your ad was flagged as special category, there are several um, or, or um, um, limitation or more limitations that uh, that you can't use for example when uh, when being flagged as special ad category you cannot use age um, you, you cannot target age right gender detailed targetings such as demographics behaviors interests are unavailable even you can't uh, use you can target based on their location right Facebook took it away and you can't so you can't use look-alike audiences, um, and you can you can use custom audiences and save audiences. Would mean all of the the advanced feature of, of Facebook to help you uh, do better targeting. They're all gone with special ads category, right? So, for example, so this is the, the just to show you a screenshot. Of what it means so when you when your 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 ad is tagged as uh, or flag a special category you know um uh, they just want them facebook wants to make sure that your audience selection do not discriminate against people based on certain personal characteristic right for example you look on to number two you see the zip code selection is apparently is unavailable right the age apparently is unavailable to you the gender is even unavailable to you so it's really frustrated that I totally understand um, uh, how that VP of marketing from the bank got frustrated because if you, when you took away all of the advanced features, um, so so what does it mean? It means that besides the fact that you cannot use uh, advanced features such as uh, custom audiences or safe audiences, even the very basic targeting such as age, gender, interest, zip code targeting, right? So basically. Facebook is telling you that now you will need to broadcast your message to the masses. So what does it mean to you? It means that you will need to spend more to to um, uh, to get your ads being seen by more and more people, right? Because when you took away all of the, the talking tools, right, the only option is that you have to make your ad really, really generic, really, really, right? So that's that's just how uh, uh, Facebook will approve your ads, right? So when you broadcast to the masses, and and you can definitely see that the effectiveness of the ad will go down, right? Because it's, it's no longer talking to any specific 
uh, targeting, right? So it's, it's, it's really challenging uh, uh, for, for you as a financial institution trying to use Facebook uh, to run campaigns. All right, so the second part of the video is that I want to talk about what are some of the available um, uh, channels that you can use beside Facebook to uh, actually uh, you know, run campaigns to help you increase uh, deposit and, and, and loans. So what are some of the channels? So uh, in this video, I will quickly go through uh, five different channels. Uh, first one is Google Ads, LinkedIn, Programmatic, Geofencing, and Snapchat. Let's dive into that real quick. So uh, Google Ads, right? So Google Ads is this is a uh, sample ads that we help a client create it, right? So with with Google Ads, you certainly have more controls or more leverage over the, the targeting, right? And as a result, as you can see, um, so this on this offer, we uh, we have a client run a wealth management campaign, and as you can see, we even um, we even. Uh, blew all of the big guys out of the water, such as Fidelity, TD Ameritrade.com, Merrill Lynch.com. You know those kind of guys. They top the the big guy top dog. But if you know what you're doing, you know it, as you can see, the the blue dot represents our client. You know we just you know, our client just a small um, uh, blue collar uh, uh, kind of hardworking community bank in. In Texas, and we were able to, you know, really um, um, uh, occupy, you know, um, nearly fifty percent of all of the ad impressions. And in the meantime, they were just, you know, hanging low. So it just shows that if you know what you're doing, you can see uh, the results. And uh, actually, the results speak for itself. And this is the, uh, the end of, at the end of the campaigns. So um, the, our client invests in sixty-six thousand uh, nine. Um, Nine hundred dollars, and they got two point eight seven million dollars in just ninety days, right? Of course, it's a four thousand over four thousand one hundred ninety eight percent ROI on the on the um, uh, on the deposit. But then, if you you know uh, put that two point eight million dollars in use to lend out that money uh, with you know four percent of um, uh, with four percent of interest rates, and apparently you can see that you uh, the profit you know jumped to about. Uh, one hundred twenty thousand dollars. So really, got like hundred uh, percent uh, profitability that you can see. <clears throat> All right. So let's talk about programmatic ads. What are programmatic ads? So programmatic ads are um, are uh, channels. I'm sorry. You can use programmatic ads on channels such as um, Weather.com, uh, Yahoo.com, and things like that. Right. But the beauty with the programmatic ad is that. You can get even more impression, but but the best of all, you still able to geofencing or to targeting based on the location. So in this case, I'm showing you the map of where my my clients is is, is using uh, for their campaigns, right? So you can zero zero in on on a specific target area instead of just talking to the mass, right? And here are some of the campaigns that we ran for them. For example, the general wealth management. Uh, the investment in estate planning, and you can see we have over you know seven hundred thousand impressions. Uh, the RAs and tax planning, are in seventeen thousand impressions. Um, so that's pretty awesome, you know, uh, when you when you have uh, different channels like automatic ads. But let's talk about LinkedIn. So LinkedIn is a really uh, like a newcomer. Um, in contrast to uh, Facebook, they have exactly quite exactly the similar UI like Facebook. However, um, LinkedIn is much, much more relaxing um, and don't, then don't have to put a lot of restrictions. Like for example, this is a screen when you, because you were able to select based on the job seniorities, the company size, the company industries, the location, and so on and so forth. If those are the things, these, these are the ability for you to do targeting, right? With, with this targeting, you will be able to laser focus your message to the right target and as a, and the result you will have better performance on your campaigns and you will get more results right just simple like that when you uh, with your right offer a right audience like this one uh, definitely you can you can see a better result okay so let's talk about geo fencing what is this about so geo fencing again this, this is the only time where we get back to Facebook right because what happened is that with this is more like an advanced 
feature from Facebook. So if you see the, the blue pin, right? The blue pin is actually where, uh, let's say if you want to target a, uh, say a, um, um, a, a business conference, you know, like with all of your prospects are all in there, right? So you can zero fencing only you know, areas of the business conference and exclude area that you can see all of the red dot, or the red, um, the red X, uh, meaning that the areas that you don't want your ad to show up, right? And you only want your ad to show up in the in the blue pin area, right? This, like again, this is really advanced features. And by using the geo fencing, you are really bypassing all of the. Um, um, of course, you can only you know use based on the the locations, right? All of the age, uh, interest from Facebook were, were taken away, right? All right, so that's about Facebook. And the next, the last one I want to mention about is the Snapchat. This is really a uh, cool tool that uh, that we just that we are just experimenting with our client. So uh, Snapchat, it, it, you can see this is more like a Snapchat filter, the geo filters that you can see on Snapchat. Um, so on the the one on the left that we just create for our client uh, to celebrate the day of the death festival, right? And then on the right, you can see some of the the um, the, um, the common uh, filters on on the internet, right? The Greenwich, the any, and so on and so forth. All right. So what's up with Snapchat and how does it help you? Okay. So. Um, there's a lot of things going on in the screen, but I want to go with one by one. All right, so number one, 1 1.6K uh, swipe, meaning that people actually uh, swipe and, and use the filters, right? And then you can see 899 users actually use your uh, your filter. And then they sh those 899 people they share with, maybe they share with their friends on the network, and that led to 39,000 people view uh, the filter, the post with the logo, you see that, that little uh, hexagram over here, that's the way you can put your logo, uh, my, 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 my client logos in there. And as a result, you can see the 58%, that led to 58% of usage uh, from these filters. And it means that 58% of that people see your logo, you know, and and and, and uh, get a lot of brain awareness on that. Okay, so how much does it cost me again? So you can see number five, it cost my client $377.72 and, uh, and it covered an area of about 1.3 million square feet, right? It's pretty huge. And it was basically, I took uh, for 39,000, they bought it by $337. I got 104 views per $1, per $1. That a freaking good result that you can see right there so uh so in short um i just i just show you uh, some of the challenges uh when you use facebook uh, campaign when you use facebook to win the campaigns and i also show you several um, um alternative channels uh, that you can use beside facebook and if you still have questions feel free to reach out to us by going to grammarbank.com forward slash 15 this is where you can actually schedule an appointment uh, to talk to me and uh, if you uh, want, you know, if you struggle uh, with your Facebook campaigns, or if you want to learn more about the alternative uh, channel that you can use, okay? So that's all I have for today, and uh, I hope to see you for next time.